Okay, let's go ahead and look at how we put these into our reference list specifically. Here we have up to seven authors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to seven, you go ahead and you list them all. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've got too many periods in here for some reason. Oh, we're just saying dot, 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 whatever. Uh, how many you, how many ever you have, this is just an example, you're going to go all the way up to seven. And then what do you do? Just like normal, you have the date, then you have the name of the article, and at the end of the name of the article, you're going to go ahead and have the name of the journal, and then you're going to have the journal's number, and page, and DOI. In-text parenthetical citation for this, so if you were looking inside your paper, inside the sentence that you wrote inside the paper, this is what it would look like, Dilbert et al. Why is it et al? Because remember in the API rule, API guideline, that if you have seven or more, you can go ahead and use the et al. That's different than the MLA, so keep that in mind. A journal article without a DOI, for example, may look something like this. So here we go ahead and we put the HTTP at the end, after the period, and we specifically wrote these words here, retrieved from. So we go ahead and give the address of the URL. Everything else should stay the same. Here is another example. So we have the first author, Light, the second author, Light, different first names, the year, and then the period, the article's name, and again, all lowercase except the first, the first letter of the first word. And then, of course, inside here we can see United States. Oops, jump back here. United States. That's capitalized. Why? Because that's a name. Names are, of course, always capitalized. You could not write that lowercase. And then we have the journal name here, which is italicized. And then comma. And here we have the number, and the number is also italicized. And then the issue, which is not italicized. So this is always very confusing, easy to forget. So please pay attention to this little bit here, which is really hard to, hard to remember this little bit here. Take a look. We've got eight, whoops, eight italicized, and then we have one straight up and down, not italicized. And then we have the parentheses before and after. No space here. No space between them. No space inside there. Right? This is extremely easy to forget. And my students almost always get this mixed up. Sometimes they have a space, sometimes there's no space, sometimes it's italicized, and the next time it's not italicized. So let's take a look at that very closely again and make sure we got that. Let me clear this. Okay, the journal's name, comma, space, eight is italicized, parentheses, no space, one is straight, not italicized, close parentheses, comma, no space before the comma. After this comma here, there's one space. After this comma here, there's one space. Okay? that make that a little bit more clear? Please try to stick with that. Very easy to get confused.